Hello, hello! Is anybody out there? This is Mark with Redo Over, and I'm playing a little bit of Master of Orion. It's been a while. It's okay. Uh, I got my booster shot today. And, uh, and, uh, I'm glad I got it, honestly. If you can get it, get it. If you can't get it, I'm sorry. I hope you can get it soon. Um, I'm grateful to have it, for sure. But uh, yeah, you feel that? It's like, oh! Sure, I'll be feeling it tonight. Um, those vaccines can knock you out a bit, especially when you're a little bit older like me. You know, you'll feel sick for half a day or a night or whatever. But uh, in the end, I'm super grateful I got it. So um, I hope you guys can get yours too, if possible, wherever you're at out there. So, but right now, this is our world, Soul Prime. We're in this magical galaxy. Eh, we're gonna try and take it over. Yeah. We're gonna take over the galaxy, folks. That's what we're doing here today. So, um, we're on turn 152. Trade treaty with the Nolan just finished up. It yielded us 463 billion Galacto credits. Now, you'll notice up here that we're at a minus two. We just went into the red because this treaty just gave up the ghost. So we have to try and negotiate another treaty with the Nolan. The Nolans like us a lot, so provided they have the money and we have the money, we can make this work. But we need to go to the Diplomacy window, and let's take a look at the Nolan. They have 382 credits, so they're getting a little strap for cash here as well. Let's take an audience, see what ah, they have to say. my old friend, today is a most fortunate day. All right, uh, negotiate. Oh, Trade oh, yes. yes. <laughs> By all means. There we go. We just had enough money, both of us. Propose. <laughs> you are far too munificent, my friend. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Check this out. Oh, instantaneous relief. We went from negative 2 BC. We negotiated that treaty. We're up to plus 33. The 35 BC switch we just got. Like, like just... Bam, like that, for like 20 turns. Uh, let's see, we check up here. Eh, it doesn't say how many turns it, it's good for, but I think it's like 20 turns. So that solved all of our financial problems for the time being. So um, uh, I, get, I just got water here. So We did complete the ion fusion research. Let's check that out. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Okay, this was nice. We've got the ion drive. This essentially just means our ships can travel faster both in combat and between st star systems. So, you know, mobility's nice. Fusion beam modification. This means that you can take the fusion, fusion beams we have and modify them for heavy mount, enveloping, continuous fire, or auto fire weapons mo uh, modification. That's nice. And finally, miniaturization beams level one. This is a 10% reduction in cost and space. So this just means you can pack more beam weapons in less and less space for less and less money. It, it progressively advances. I think you can get up to miniaturization level 5 or something by the end. So it decreases production cost and size of these technologies. Uh, any kind of beam, beam weapon, apparently. Uh, so, awesome. Let's update blueprints. Update all. Upgrade all. Meaning we want to move it across all of our ship designs over here. Frigate destroyers and cruisers. Get done. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? What should we focus? That's a great question. Um, we need to make money. Bottom line. Now, money, economic things are the yellows. So, for instance, yeah, okay. This is the geosynchronous warehouse. It's like infrastructure. So this isn't going to yield us money. It does reduce the buyout cost, um, and they work around any planet, or essentially, but uh, it, it probably, it, we're going to have to take it eventually, but we don't need it right now. So let's skip on that. Alien Psychology, Alien Management Center. Alien Psychology might not be a bad one. Um, overall effects is uh, permanently boosted. Uh, any, any dealings we have with other races is more appealing to them. We're already very appealing because we're diplomatic humans. Um, and then finally, we have the alloys, reinforced hull or heavy armor. We can get one of the two. We're not really fighting that much, so let's go with this Xeno thing, right? Oh, wait. Let's, go right, let's not overthink it. Xeno, Xenoology. Done. 
And yeah, we'll upgrade the frigate for nine. That's just a, a drive. Dr drives are pretty cheap to upgrade. Um, we will want to get... Well, this is our colony ship has arrived. Oh, nice. Oh, great. Okay. Um, yeah, look, so we've rapidly expanded our our empire in the last playthrough. So, uh, Obacus, we have Tormontius Prime, Tormontius II, Hule Prime, Soul Prime, Atari Prime. We have a colony ship actually headed right now to Tamek Prime, but we have this one here. Uh, and I just want to check real quick, make sure that Matar 5 is the best. It's, it's ultra rich, which I like, and it has the artifacts, which I like. So I think that's the one we're going to go with. Yeah, let's see. Matar Prime has normal gravity, small, toxic, rich. Yeah, we'll do the heavy gravity world. Here we go. Colonizing Matar 5. Oof. Radiated world. So the, the ultraviolet light from the star scours all life off the crust of this world. Nothing can live on the surface here. Now, the thing about rated planets, I might make a short video actually talking about this, the different types of planets. We can get a radiation barrier shield technology eventually and build a radiation barrier shield around this world, which will block the intense ultraviolet light, making this a barren world. And then from there, it can be terraformed. So there's hope for this world to get. Um, and the ultra richness is, yeah, I like that. So... Up here, we can check out the artifact. It, it yields two research. That's kind of cool. So look over here. Right now, even though we have no scientists, it's already yielding two research. So that's good. Um, it doesn't really make the colony grow quicker, but it's better than nothing. So down here, we do have production, stagnant food production. So let's get some food stuff going as quick as is reasonable. I say reasonable because I think we should go autofac, then biosphere, then hydroponic farm. Yeah. Which is two food, two maintenance. There you go. So that's what we're going to start off with. Um, I'm going to let him just go for the time being. I'm not going to purchase this autofac yet. I want to see if our other colonies this might need a little help. Is Whoa, human republic has grown in strength, spanning even more planets and showing no signs of stopping. We control eight planets. So we got that GNN, Galactic News Network report, because we have the most planets of any civilization right now, or they wouldn't have said anything. If we were like, if we had five and someone else had six, they wouldn't have made that announcement. Our eight planets that we control is the most anywhere. And we actually have this colony ship right here. We can sneak it in right now. Um, so we have three planets in the Temec system. Let's just take a look real quick. Temec 2 is a Terran world, it's tundra, so frozen but habitable. Tiny, ultra poor, low gravity gold. That's a whole cluster fudge and not that good, if you're really honest. Now here's our destination, Tamek Prime. Medium, barren, abundant, with artifacts and normal gravity. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. And then finally, Tamek 3. Medium, barren, abundant, normal gravity, but no artifacts. So. This is the right choice. Let's send our ship there right now. Colonize. Now we're to nine planets. I don't think we'll get another GNN uh, update on that, but I'm happy for it. Oh, this is beautiful. I like this. It's like, like a barren, cratered wasteland, but at least it's not irradiated. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's such a great shot. Okay, here we go. The artifact shield, the plus two research, also... Great. Does, again, doesn't help our colony grow, but I'll take it. Currently, our farmer is producing the one food, and let's jump in. We have the options for the autofac. Probably purchase outright. Biosphere, awesome. And then finally, the hydroponic farm just to get our food production going, get our growth rate going. So let's purchase the autofac. That's going to leave us broke with only 19 BC. We'll hit done. We'll hit next turn. Whew. Breathe. That was one turn on our return back. Hopefully they won't all be that lengthy, but I want to get everybody back up to speed. Good news is right now is that we now have one colony in all of the eight systems in our section of the galaxy. We've improved everything we can. Um, 
The only thing that's really left for us to do would be to maybe defeat the amoeba here. But to be honest, they're only protecting a single uh, asteroid rune. Not that useful. Um, we can't travel through any of the red lines, red lines yet because we don't have the technology. It's like the hyperflex, freaking insulator or whatever it is. Uh, and we could go invade the Nolum, but why? The Nolans are trapped over here in just a couple of little solar systems. They'll never grow very much. We'll have military superiority, we'll be superior in every way. Except the Nolans are willing to trade with us, giving us a plus 35 BC a turn thing. Up in the corner there. Sorry, I'm inverted. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I would rather just keep good relations with them. Um, keep them friendly and, and make a bunch of BC. So there's no reason to invade them at this point. Uh, their plan is just not worth that much to us. Space Fact 5 completed at Sol Prime. Sweet. And we got a colony ship in the queue next. Um, okay. So what can we use the Space Fact for? So many space facts. Um, let's send it here to build a, a, a military outpost. Yeah? Okay. So the space facts on the way. Orbital shipyard completed on Tormontus 2. Nice. Cruiser next. So we built the orbital shipyard because it reduces our ship production costs by 20%? Take a look here. Orbital shipyard. 20% reduction. So, this sucker is now down to 14 turns, and the colony ship's down to 10 turns. So, I will take that. And finally, automated factory completed on Temec Prime. What we just did. Um, let's move that off of the... I don't want to pull him off of food production, so we'll keep him there. Keep the production going here. We have a chance we might buy some of these out, help them out a little bit. We need to build our BC up. That being said, let's go to the Empire tab. We need to be getting some... Uh, what's the word for it? Um, tr trade uh, or galactic IRS. Yeah, right, IRS. <laughs> Internal Revenue Service. In the United States, we call it the IRS, and that's the, the tax collectors. Let's go to Seoul Prime real quick and see what they have. Uh, must already have it here. Go to View. Colonial Revenue Service, CRS. So I couldn't remember it, folks. Sorry. Check this out. Generates one BC per population unit. So any of our planets with more than one or two colonists, we're going to want to get one of these built on as quickly as possible. So I can sort my colonies by population by hitting this tab here. So Sol Prime has it. Tormontus. Tormontius. Let's see here. They've got theirs built. And I know that because it's not in the list. Let's go to Huel. Look, Huel's got one right here in the queue. We, so we need to get those going quickly. Um, or we're going to go broke. Let's go to Nayu. I think Nayu already built theirs. Yeah, okay. We're looking all right. Let's advance to the next turn. Done. Dunzo. And next turn. Welcome to GNN. State of the Galactic Galaxy. News Network. And now, the state of the galaxy. Do tell. Current leaders of advanced technology. That's us. What is wrong with the galaxy? Nolim League is number two behind us? The GNN takes into account all the species, and I think there's six of us total in this galaxy. Uh, right here? Yeah, six of us. If Nolim is two... And they only have, at most, two planets? Oh. Maybe because we trade technology with them, so they're doing a little bit better. Man, we're, we're crushing on these guys. I, I think the galaxy will be ours in no time, which is fine. Next turn. Zoom in a little bit here. So we have our fleet. Um, you know what? These guys don't need to post up here anymore. Let's move them off to the military outpost up here. Space factories coming along. Next turn. So you can see once you get going a little bit here, you don't have to work through everything too bad. One by one, all bits of treacherous Orion will be broken by Unterran might. Your end is nigh. 
Oh my gosh. So, because we're probably the lead race right now in the galaxy, the, the computer program, the game, targets the strongest civilizations with the Antaran invasions. They're not trying to throw in Terrans against little weenie colonies, although you can get attacked even when you're not the strongest, but as the number one, you know, technological and power, you know, species in the in the galaxy right now, we will be get we'll get targeted the most. So this is the second attack. I'll tell you what the problem is, is they're coming after Atari here. They might smash Atari and they might reduce its population from one to zero which essentially kills the colony. Now, all your buildings are still there, but it won't grow until you get more colonists there. That sucks. That's a big problem. Now, I can tell that the um, Antarans are four turns away. I see these little four turns. You barely read it. It's kind of a it's poorly done on the part of the designers. They should make that a little more readable, but I can also tell there's one, two, three, four points to get to the planet because the Antarans apparently, although super technologically advanced, are incredibly slow crossing the space. Our ships could get there much faster. <laughs> Let's go to Atari Prime and see what we got. Um, we got nothing. We got nothing. No star base. We got nothing. We can in investigate the fleet here by clicking on it. 32 attack power, 132 defensive power, two destroyers, two frigates. Uh, we're not going to save this. Oh, jeez. I got a single cruiser. And I got a space vac. Okay. Let me just check my destroyer here. Three turns. You guys want me to go all in? I got two leaders. I got two leaders on these ships. Check this out here. Let's see what the leaders have real quick. Hold on. Two captains. Um, Cruiser and destroyer... I don't know who's who. Is that Maja maybe with this? Missile attack, command points. Gosh, I don't think they can die. Let's just check something real quick before we commit to this. Research I'm willing to fight, but we're probably going to lose a ship or two. Um, we need to make sure we have the command escape pods. I don't even know what they look like. Oh. gonna be if we don't have escape pods and one of our ships is destroyed in combat we'll lose the hero forever they dead they're gone we don't want to risk that so i need to make sure i've researched escape pod there you go survival pod i got it okay so we can take the risk what the heck we're awesome so yeah let's take the destroyer and send it in let's take the cruiser send it in and then let's jump into planet here. Defensively speaking, star base in 60 turns, missile base in 30 turns, frigate in 30 turns. Wow, this stuff is not cheap. I could see doing the missile base. Let's throw it in there and see how much it would cost. Let's start building. So if I throw it over here, uh, right there. Nope. There we go. 480 coin. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think about buying it outright. We're not going to have it soon enough. But th this is kind of an all or nothing for this colony. That reduces it to 18. And then let's do one more thing here. Let's take our tax rate and pop it up to 5 BC. This will make some people unhappy for now. But let's see if we can get enough money to buy that missile base. With the two ships, maybe we can fight off the Interran attack. If, if Atari Prime had even two people, I would just let them rain down deaths on our planet and hope that some population survived, because they probably would, and I wouldn't sacrifice our ships. But I don't want Atari to go dormant. So, that being said, Soul Prime has reached max pop. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, um... Well, we could pull someone off of farming there. Yeah, that's fine. So, we didn't need them making all that much food. Uh, so, we'll hit done. This guy, we're going to have them guard. And let's see about upgrades real quick. Yeah, it's just engine. Yeah, might as well for 9 BC. I know we're saving up our money, but here we go. Next turn. Confirm. Okay, so security uh, for Ula goes from 
10% to 12%. This is Empire security. That's good. We'll take it. So here's the thing. The Antarans, when we're done with this turn, they'll go. But they'll go before our next turn comes up. So if we have to kind of buy now or forever hold our peace. If we can't buy right now, we're not going to get that missile base. And we can't. It's not going to happen. We'll leave him in there. We'll see if he can survive it. There's nothing else we can do. Done. Neutron Collider completed at Fuel Prime. Colony Ship 4 next in queue. That's cool. We'll leave it. Um, space Fact finished Military Outpost right there. We'll leave this. And then this mili this Space Fact got here, so let's have it start building a military outpost. We're just trying to protect all these lines coming into our space. So, But otherwise, this, this, uh, this little guy, I'm just going to have him guard here. There's nothing else he can do. And then we do have a new technology. Just so the here's the research. Kind, we have to choose one or the other. I'm going to take alien psychology. This will just help with negotiations and stuff. Alien management centers for when you're conquering other species that, that assimilates them. Have made a new discovery. Get done. See, now I really wish I had had that super alloy. It, it might have helped. It probably wouldn't have. So... Let's do it. Let's go for super alloys. Won't come soon enough, Excellent. but that's fine. Hit done. Fleet needs orders. We could have used this other cruiser over there, but we can't get it there now. So let's just hit a uh, guard. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call our money. It's not enough. Not enough money. Dang it. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, I thought this guy was building. My bad. Here we go. Next turn. So there they are, the Antarans are one turn away. So even if I were to complete this now, which I don't have enough money, the Antarans would attack before I could build it next turn. Because they'll go before us. That being said, well, that being said, I don't need this anymore, to be really honest. So <laughs> just move it out of there. Uh, I don't necessarily have to delete it, but I don't need it. So fleet needs orders. Uh guard and then let's actually improve both let's do that so at least they got engine upgrades but they're probably done for okay our heroes will survive next turn so it's a balanced fight meaning our cruiser and destroyer relatively balanced against their two destroyers and two frigates we'll see let's take command so we can see a little combat here here they come and Terran ships this is us And this is like the space battle view. This is the overhead tactical view. Now, I'll tell you what. We don't want to fight in the nebulae. It would not be good for our ships. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be good for them either. God, I would love for our guys to linger back here. Hold. Let's play it out. I don't even know how to steer these guys. Here we go. Here we go. I'm pulling them back deliberately because I would rather we fight the enemy while they're in the nebula here. So our ships are up, but their ships are their shields are not up. Yeah, dang it. They didn't really take advantage of that so well. I'll right, zoom in a little bit so we can see what's happening. So that's two frigates stacked on, or two destroyers stacked on top of each other. You can't really see them there very well. Their rate of fire is much higher than our ships have. And they may have some auto repair stuff as well. It's hard to say. Oh yeah, we're not even punching through the shields here. This is brutal. Look at, they're shooting everything we're shooting. They're just plucking it out of the air with their uh, anti-ship missiles. Or sorry, anti-missile missile? <laughs> Point defense. Oh, where are you shooting at, buddy? There's nothing there. Ooh. Oh, man. They just took a broadside there from everything. That destroyer's in bad shape. Not going to last long. Oh, don't chase him into don't chase him into the nebula. Yep, 
Yeah, there's not a lot to see in this combat, and there's not a lot we can do, unfortunately. Both these ships are rapidly degrading. You can see we haven't even put a dent in these Venteran ships. Well, one of them, maybe. Ooh, maybe they'll get that guy. Come on, come on. Oh, those all missed. Uh, our, our computer guidance systems are very weak compared to the evasive capabilities of the Antarans. That's why those set, that salvo didn't hit anything, unfortunately. That big boy's nearly down. Did we get one? Or did he warp out? I can't even be sure what just happened there. Oh gosh, this guy's just clinging to life here. That's actually sad almost. Oh no, 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 no. Went into the nebula, that was a big mistake because there's no... Pr oh shoot, just evaporated that guy. Holy cows. Shields are down on this dude. Just hanging on. Look at that crazy salvo there. Did almost nothing for us. Ooh, that was a big hit. So it must be some sort of advanced missile coming off of that destroyer there, because that was a nasty shot. Both of our ships are just clinging. You see that little red line there? That red is the structural life. The blue... Lord, how are we holding on? The destroyer's gone. I can't believe this is this close. We're both a fraction. I've never seen a battle like this, ever. Um, this is insane. I, oh. Go. Who's going to go down first? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, our crippled ship. She's got her shields up. But the Antaran's regenerating its shields as well. Oh my lord. Point blank, come on, what do you got, man? Missiles? I don't even know. Fire everything. <sighs> okay. I know it's probably a little boring. Um, normally it doesn't take that long, but the, the ships are relatively ineffective against one another. Otherwise, that battle wouldn't have been over much quicker. Um, it, we took out three of theirs. Only one of their ships crippled survived. Which isn't a bad thing because it does mean that they can bring less against us. We have a one biological bomb shot against our one population. Uh, I'll move my little face box here. Let's see what happens. We survived. So maybe that sacrifice was worth it. Had both the, the destroyers survived, it's possible they would have been able to drop two bombs and exterminated our colony. So that probably was worth it. Behold, the finest of young races, ground to dust. How pathetic. Goodbye. This is GNN. The Antaran raiding parties have once again delivered a crippling blow to the human republic as they continue to mercilessly ravage our galaxy. You stay classy, Antares! Nice. So good. Yeah, a little anchor man there. So that's it. We survived. They'll leave. Unfortunately, we're, we just lost most of our fleet. Let's go real quick to leaders. Um, you can see in two turns, Maja and Ana North will return to us. I don't even think we have ships to put them in, to be really honest. If I go to my fleet tab, I've got Space Fac, Scout, Frigate, and a cruiser, but the one cruiser already has a leader on it, and another Space Fac. So yeah, we'll put one of them on a cruiser just to be getting the... They, they can't benefit your civilization if they're not on a ship. So we actually need to get that done. We need another ship to put the other one on here, pronto. Um, I see a cruiser in nine, a cruiser in five. So yeah, we'll have replacement ships pretty shortly, but um, let's continue. And then they'll break orbit. They'll head back to their portal to their pocket dimension. Colony ship four completed its sole prime. Blockade over Atari broken. Meaning because they left orbit, the blockade's broken. Here is Sol. 
Um, let's get the pop growing again. So we're going to put a couple people down into farming here. And what do we want to build next? Here. Probably another cruiser. Start building. Our fleet was... was I don't want to say decimated. Decimated means to lose one out of ten. We lost two out of three. So we were way more than decimated here, folks. FYI. Uh, let's also jump back to our colony, our empire tab. Let's reduce this BC down to four. We were running at five trying to make money in an emergency, but that's not going to help us that much. So yeah, let's uh, hit uh, done and uh, fleet needs orders. Okay, so this system is built up. This one is built up. Nayu and Nayu Prime are done. Yeah, Huel's done. So we have a little smattering of, of planets around to build. Quite a few. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's head down here. Yeah, here we go. We're going to send her to Atari 3. And next turn, it's probably going to be it for this session here, you guys. Um, Huel's grown. Uh, this is a good place to stop. I mean, we survived at least. We've got colony ships coming out. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to a couple of cruisers here real shortly. Colony ships. And um, actually, let's just advance ahead. This is why. I want to get those ships built. So that I can get our leaders on those said ships. Let's uh, go two more turns here. Next turn. You go. My friend, I come to you. He wants an open border treater, treaty, proposition. meaning they get to move through our. No, I decline. He doesn't like it. Perhaps we. Can. But he wants to come colonize our world. These are our worlds, not his world. We don't want to intermix our our uh, space. They could bring their warships in by our planets. We don't want to do that. Um, let's jump back up here. Let's purchase this cruiser. We're going to have two cru cruisers complete on the next turn. Here we go. I'll hit done. And here we go. Cruiser completed on Tormontus. Cruiser completed on Nayu. Tormontus Prime has grown. Research. Awesome. Let's jump over to Nayu 2. Just to select their next item, whatever they're going to work on next, which in this case is not that. Um, let's do another cruiser. Yeah, start building. We might end up with more ships than we want, but here's the good news. We now have extra cruisers. Let's go to our leaders tab. I'm doing this because I might forget before I play again. So let's assign Maja to one of the new cruisers right there. And let's assign Anna North, Captain North, to... Oh, that's where Maja's headed, right? I want this. No, it is Nayu 2, I think. I think. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Tormontus. Cruiser, select ship. There you go. In four turns, they'll both be reassigned on those new cruisers, and all of our captains will be on cruisers. Now we'll call it done. I'm going to save here. When we come back in, we have a nice big fleet, and we can choose a new research and do all that good stuff. So options. Uh, if you watched, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.